Hey friends, Joe Patitucci from Data Garden, and I am here to show you how to use MIDI Sprout for iPhone. So, got my iPhone here, and then everything that comes with your MIDI Sprout for iPhone, including the MIDI Sprout. I just put some fresh batteries in here, some uh, double A's. Then we have the eye connectivity cable. This is what you're gonna use to connect your MIDI Sprout to your iPhone. Then we have some electrode pads. Midi Sprout comes with three pairs. These are uh, sticky pads that you put on the plant. Um, these are reusable and uh, they're actually pretty durable. In fact, the reason there are only two pairs here is because the other pair is on this philodendron behind me and it's been on there for more than a year. So uh, these work really well and they're safe to keep at least on a philodendron for, for a long period of time. Those connect to these electrode leads that uh, snap onto the pads. And then on MIDI sprouts that were produced after August of 2018, we've also included these clips. So these clips can be used instead of the electrodes and pads. And these, <clears throat> these help to uh, allow you to connect to a bunch of different plants. Uh, without having to take as much time to move these uh, electrodes. Uh, this year, the clips come in blue and yellow, so you, you'll get either blue or yellow. Um, we'll see what we have in the future. It all depends on like what's available from our supplier, honestly. So, there we have it. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to connect MIDI Sprout to our phone. Well, actually, the first thing we want to do is download the app. So just go to midisprout.com slash app or go to the app store and look up MIDI Sprout. Either way, it's going to take you to the same place. We're going to download our app, which looks like this. Looks a lot like your MIDI Sprout. So we got the app on our phone. Let's connect the MIDI Sprout to our phone. We've got this white plug here that we're going to plug into the back of our MIDI Sprout. And then, uh, this on the eye connectivity cable, you'll see it has uh, a little connector here that connects to this USB, this mini USB connector that has the lightning jack on it. And that connects directly into your phone. Simple enough. Now we have our MIDI sprout connected to our phone. Now let's connect our plant to our MIDI sprout. We're going to use the electrode leads today and uh, we're going to use these pads. Now, a lot of you might want to just put these pads straight onto your plant uh, and then connect the leads. I don't do that, and I'll show you why. Because when we connect these pads, we're actually putting pressure to make this snap connection. So it's actually really important to connect them here first and then put it on your plant. Because you don't want to be putting the pressure of... Uh, like extra pressure when you're snapping these onto the pads, you don't want to be doing that. So you want to do it like I just did it. Just connect to these first and then put it on your plant. It's also best if you clean your plant before you do this because a lot of plants have uh, fungicidal gel that uh, protects the plant while they're in the stores from other diseases and things. Uh, but that fungicidal gel can sometimes uh, create a barrier between the plant and the instrument here. We got this all set up. We got our plant connected to these pads, to these electrodes, um, and to our MIDI sprout. <laughs> and then we have our MIDI sprout connected to our phone. All right, so now all we have to do is turn on the MIDI sprout and we're gonna hear some music. I'll actually turn my phone on too so you can see the light show. A uh, little trick about turning on your MIDI Sprout. This is not just an on-off knob. It's also uh, a way of changing the sensitivity of your MIDI Sprout. So when you turn the knob just past the click, that's the most sensitive the MIDI Sprout, uh, that's the most sensitive setting. Now when you turn it all the way clockwise, that's least sensitive. Why would you want it to be less sensitive? Well, maybe you're doing something where you're sonifying the connection between humans, like people holding 
hands and holding on to these uh, little electrodes. Uh, since humans are, are going to have more of a signal than plants are, we're going to want to uh, have a setting lower. But for, for this plant, uh, we're going to want this to be as sensitive as possible. So uh, I'm going to turn this knob and we're going to tune into the music right now. So there you have it. It's really simple. MIDI sprout connected to this plant, connected to this iPhone, and um, you're ready to listen. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing more of your videos too. So uh, do post them on YouTube and Instagram, include the hashtag MIDI sprout. Uh, we're finding really cool uses of MIDI Sprout all the time and we're sharing them on our Instagram as well. So follow us on Instagram at MIDI Sprout and if you're watching this you're probably on our YouTube channel and you might as well subscribe because there's really cool stuff we're going to be sharing in the future. So thanks so much for watching and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Much love!